Your number three lead. takes the mound as he's been called pitch. upon to pitch. Number three. Digging in to try it again, Carlos Tavares. He flew out in his last Lead at bat. Count one and oh. They'll try and entice right him with a high fastball, Carlos. but he wouldn't commit. It's ball Tom one. Barrett. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Outside, oh, two out. and one. Here we go right now, fellas. No, and this down. one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tie run to the plate. Oh, he takes something off there as this is swung on and missed, and there's one gone here in the ninth. The batter. First offering the on its way. Kevin yeah, Valentin comes on with well, one three. gone here as he looks at a called strike one. A great job pounding his own strike one. Got when you've got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. From the stretch. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Last chance for the Yankees. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. Yankees, good night. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Boston took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Ladies Number three is on, three. and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number Set three. to get his evening at the plate started, Todd Botts batting just a notch now below 300 so far on the season. 0-1 the count. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitcher right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Todd Botts goes down for out number two in the top half. Kendrick Cole is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Behind 0-2 now. And he strikes him out here for out number three, but the damage has been done. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4 the final tally. Mike Deal wins in relief for the eighth time this year. Our final Number three enters complete. from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number three. All set to start the ninth in this one. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Roger Cisneros. Ball one to start the at-bat. And that's just off the corner and low ball hey, two. Well, this one's been a bit of a head scratcher despite their home run production today. Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D-Row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball game. Hey, we got one. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Roger Cisneros is retired to kick off the inning. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2-0 now. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Two balls and two strikes now. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. So coming to the plate, Rich Pereira. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground at first. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. 
Many guys fall victim to the breaking ball and want to get out in front of it, and they end up rolling it over to the pull side. He was able to execute, stay inside, keep his hands back, and drive it the other way. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Mine, mine, mine. And he'll put this one away and the Red Sox have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. A tight one seven to six the final score tonight. Boston. Number three is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. For the Red Sox. Number three. Stepping into the box, Rafael Devers. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hey, clutch up for us. Get a strike out. He's set. Here it comes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Waiting on relay. it is Benintendi. Relay, relay. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. Hey. Ah, but this is well up the line, and he's safe at home plate. The bat. Manuel the Rincon catcher. is in oh, with two away Rincon. here as this one swung on and Rincon. missed for the first strike. Hoo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Six runs, seven hits, and no errors Three. for Tampa Bay so far. Curveball locks him up, strike. Let's play ball. Ow. Ow. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Magnera Sierra. One ball, no strikes to count. Here it comes, 1-0. and oh. Ball in! Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Two ball. Fooled with two the curveball there, and it's strike two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Jamison Rodriguez stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. One and one the count now. And now a pitch on the way. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. 
It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Mac Williams is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Down 0-2. Maybe simp a swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do now at the plate Omar Rodriguez and to start out the inning it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there Dan they have Matt I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that but it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit we'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before Guerrero is there and he'll bring this one in. Now in the box, Tom Ray. Now better. Swung on and missed for the first strike. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. A ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do... Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. 16 to 6, the final in this one this evening. Boston mounted an impressive offensive display, crossing played 16 times. Elvis Lugo earns win number seven on the season. Luis Palacios only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.